The shared universe is a shogun sequence I designed to exploit a specific flaw in the female psyche. A woman is constantly torn between embracing her true self and seeking social acceptance. This conflict exposes a weakness that you can exploit to your advantage. This is how the shared universe sequence works. With it, you will construct a shared universe consisting of you and your target. Inside this imaginary universe, she's liberated from the societal norms that rule the real world. Here she can freely explore new ideas, embrace her genuine desires, and express her individuality while still enjoying social acceptance from you. The shared universe sequence belongs to the rapport stage inside Shogun Method. Shoguns typically use the shared universe sequence for three purposes. One, to build deep rapport and escalate to the third stage in the IRA model. Two, to isolate a woman from her family and friends. And three, to destroy boyfriends. I'll need to warn you first, however. You shouldn't use the shared universe sequence under the following three circumstances. The first circumstance is when you can't see your target face to face. Given its length, the shared universe is not ideal over text. The second circumstance is that you've only met her and you have barely built any foundational rapport. In this case, focus on intrigue, the first stage of the IRA model. And the third circumstance is if she has emotional dependency issues. This Shogun sequence will worsen her condition and create unintentional consequences. Stop if any of those circumstances are applicable to you. And not only that, if you're using the shared universe as a boyfriend destroyer, ensure these following conditions are met first. One, that she's unhappy with her relationship. Two, that her boyfriend is not a close buddy of yours. And three, that her boyfriend is not a shogun. Got all that? Good. As you'll notice, shogun method comes with strict guardrails, and it's for a valid reason. I don't want my knowledge to be abused to cause harm to women. Now, if the circumstances are suitable for you to execute this Shogun sequence, then you must proceed. You will deliver this sequence in two steps. First, by eliciting her values, and second, by creating the shared universe. Next, let's learn what those two steps are. The first step is to elicit her values. Value elicitation is Shogun Method's bread and butter, and we go deep into the concept inside the core Shogun Method program. For now, Here's a simplified version to use as part of this sequence. You will elicit her values by finding out two things about her. The first thing to find out is what she wants in a man. These are her romantic values. The second thing to find out is the objection she may have if she meets another man who shares her romantic values better than her boyfriend. As the opener, you can ask her casually about her hobbies and then switch to romantic values. For instance, if she says she enjoys horror flicks, Ask her if she ever has a boyfriend who also enjoys the same genre. Then switch to the usual romantic value elicitation. Ask her what she likes in a guy and what she looks for in love. Within Shogun Method, we analyze the needs and desires that are present in the female psyche. These three are the most common needs of every woman. The first need is the need to support and nurture a man. Psychologists call this the motherly instinct and it's present in every woman. The second need is the need to exert her own individuality, following the woman's hunch. The third need is the need to be cared for and protected from harm. This leads to the need for social inclusion and acceptance. Again, every woman has this need. As you will see, the second need and the third need conflict with one another. For example, when a woman is attracted to a man who is not her partner, she can't sleep with him because that violates social norms. The fear of social exclusion stops her from acting on her true desires. Hence, you can follow up the romantic value elicitation by saying something like this. You know what? It's natural to have romantic feelings for another guy. I mean, you're only human, right? Just because you're attached, it doesn't mean you stop being a woman. But here's the thing. You can't date two men at the same time or people will start calling your names. And yet it's entirely okay to have those feelings and you don't need to feel ashamed. You're doing nothing wrong. This sequence is laced with hypnotic suggestions and yet she won't notice them. What you're doing is planting the idea in her mind that it's fine to break taboos and social constructs. She can be with you even if she has a boyfriend. You're a better deal and her female instincts are responding to that. Got that? Good. We'll move on to the second step, creating the shared universe. What's the shared universe? Well, this is an imaginary world where societal norms don't apply. 
Here she can follow her female instincts without getting judged. Her actions in this universe is free from the expectations and moral standards of others. Describe to her what both of you get to do away from the straight-laced, boring real world. Hug, create beautiful moments, share intimate secrets. Free from real-world repercussions, imply that she is free to act on her desires with you. In the shared universe, nobody is going to judge her. You certainly wouldn't. To invite her into this imaginary world, use this line. When I hold your hand, notice how good it feels to connect on a deep level. Pause for a few seconds and then continue. And you know what? Sex is simply an extension of this connection. It's pure, natural and spontaneous. You don't have to fight this feeling because we are in our own world now. Nobody is going to judge us, okay? It's just you and me, and nobody else, I promise. Once you have delivered this routine, she will open up to you automatically, as if she's awakened by an internal trigger. And this creates an opening for you to escalate to something physical if you wish. And if you do, use the third part in this sequence to seal the deal. With this line, you will plant the idea in her mind, making it appear as if she's the one who desires the sex. It's somewhat crafty, but it works. What's this line? Well, I'm reserving it for my brother Shogun's only. If you want to know it, you can find it inside Module 5 of Shogun Method. It's on page 44.